Jesus says, This is a living and working community, like a tiny city. January 18, 2023 Words from Jesus through Sister Claire Spoken by Jackie The Lord bless you, dear Heart Dweller community. I want to thank you especially for supporting us and taking good care of us so we can continue to operate and still help the poor. Thank you so very much for that. Today the Lord wanted to talk about the beauty of a bridal community. This is what he had to say. Jesus began, You are hitting all the bases, fortifying as I've asked you to. And what that is about is the Lord asked me to fortify the community. So we are looking at the areas where we are weak that need to be strengthened. And everyone is pitching in on that. And it is beautiful. A major part of that is assigning work and following through to see that it is done properly. Thank you for checking on the goats. It is a good example that will be followed. Yeah, we had one very noisy goat and it was troubling me that it was crying because that is just not, you know, normal. They had food, they are being milked on time. So I went and checked on it rather than sending someone else to figure it out and I stay mostly in my hermitage. I do not go out a whole lot, partially because of a bad knee, but what we found was one of the goats was bloated. So praise God, I think we have taken care of that now. My brides, this is a living and working community, like a tiny city. You have a sanitation department, a cafeteria, an electrical department and heat supply, all the things that make a city healthy. But your greatest achievement is your genuine love for one another. Do not let anyone come in and diminish that. It is a most precious possession and the envy of the angels. And why do the angels envy that? Because most of their time is taken up doing damage control, with those they watch over. They grieve terribly when harmony is broken, when there are contentions and disagreements that cannot be resolved. What you have is precious, because not only do you demonstrate your love for one another, but you strive to protect this precious treasure. You will know they are Christians by their love. This truly is the defining attribute that proves you belong to me. People hunger for this kind of relationship and fellowship because it is so often more conflict and less harmony. You are vigilant against selfish ambition and protecting your interests at the expense of another's suffering. Rather, you look out all around you and are working to become your brother's keeper. When you bring wood to the sisters without being asked, you are more like me. When you consider what another is doing before interrupting them, you are more like me. When you ask with sincerity how a brother or sister is doing, you are more like me. And when you do something that is not your job without being asked, just as a gift of love, you most resemble me. When you pardon someone for a harsh word, then you are more like me. When you anticipate the needs of others, you resemble my Father in heaven. Do you see, beloved ones? Being a Christian is about being Christ-like and choosing what I would do rather than how the world would do it. You are becoming selfless and Christ-like. Some people have the impression 
that they look like me when they wear the habit, spend hours studying, praying, and worshipping while others work. And I said, But Lord, what about Martha and Mary? Mary sought only to be in your presence. And what did I say to Martha? Martha, Martha, you are worried about many things. I made a distinction between worrying and doing. Martha's mind was continually taken up with things to do, and when those were taken care of other things in an unending circle of obsessive, compulsive behavior. Mary would take care of a necessity and call it good, returning to prayer. Some people live to do when they should live to be more like me. The point is, you do not live in a vacuum, but in a community, which takes a great deal of care and wisdom to run properly. What makes it work best, though, is brotherly love. I am very satisfied with the efforts you make to really concern yourself with the welfare of others, taking it upon yourself to pick up for others when they miss something. And that was the end of his sweet, sweet, sweet message. Thank you, Lord.